This is Dan from Dive Photo Guide. We are at the DEMA 2023 in New Orleans, uh, walking the show, talking to the different exhibitors. And I'm here at the Kraken booth with Matt. Um, he's going to talk to us a little bit about the new products you have, um, show off some of the new stuff, and uh, yeah, what do you have to show us, Matt? All right, so the first thing, most exciting thing for Dive Photo Guide people is probably going to be the new strobe. Um, we'll have it in about a month for to, as full stock. Um, so one thing I like about it, it has its own dedicated battery pack. It's a set of 18650s in there, so you don't have to worry about how nice big battery. It, uh, it is USB-C charging, so you can charge it directly that way. Um, the production version, the production version will have a lock on it, so once it's in place, it'll have a nice twist lock. We have a fake one right here. And I guess this big battery makes the we get a lot of shooting time. Yes. So um, you can turn it on. You'll be able to see your little LED on the back screen there. Okay. CD, I'm sorry. Um, and then you can see all of the different. Wow. Oh, so it gives you the actual number of shots you have. As you turn it down, you can see the number of shots going up. Um, you have your hard stops on the outside, which is also your watt seconds. So it's 160 watt seconds on the, on the high end. Um, and then the dial here gives you like micro adjustments at each setting. Um, so it's also triggered fiber optically or CNC 5 pin. It comes with the ball mount or YS mount. Um, the diffuser, it does not come with. It's an accessory part. But nice round dome front. Round flash too. Yep. And uh, the power is a, it's a wide angle strobe. Yes. It's very powerful. Yes. Uh, wide angle strobe. I've used it for macro as well. It does really nicely for that as well. There will be a suit for it. We don't have it ready yet, but that's coming. Um, nice metal body. Yes, very nice. Uh, beat the hell out of this already. It's doing pretty well. Um, it does have a 500 lumen LED as well. Uh, it is very sensitive. You want to do remote triggering with it as well. Um, and there is a test mode for the test fire. And you're putting this to the test already? Yeah. I've already had it in the a bunch of times. Hopefully, the next couple weeks we'll have it in a lot more. Well, of course, at some point we look forward to a review of this. Full, 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 full review. Review. For sure. See some uh, stuff from the actual in the field. Yes. Um, next up, we have a new monitor. So we have our 7 inch monitor already. This one, we requested a little bit of a smaller one. Um, that's what this is. So it's 5 inch. You have your HDMI in, HDMI out. Uh, it has a its own battery. It uses the same battery as our Hydra 4000, 6000 USB C charging. Um, yes, yeah, that's something I have. A, I have some small like uh, small lights for the night yep. and stuff, and they're all USB C yep. charged. So USB C charging as well comes with the ball mount, comes with the ribbon cable, comes with the HDMI cable. Uh, it also comes with three different um, like micro USB attachments depending on what sort of camera you're using. So this is pretty universal. Yeah, you can use this from TG6 up to whatever else you want to shoot. Um, people ask if it needs a shade. It is super bright, so even in the right condition, you don't need a shade for it. Yeah, it's a shade for uh, You can flip the screen if you want to flip the screen if you're doing weird angles. If you're using uh, relay lenses, things like that. Um, so that's nice and cool. It is a bit heavy, so that's just something to be aware of. Um, next up we have it's just a fun light the sunlight but it's used to people or interesting people. It's an LEP light, so it's a laser light. So if you look up, look at the table is really, really focused, really, really bright beam. Um, and I guess it goes a long way too. I mean, it goes a very long way. I was looking yesterday at this product with you and uh, we shot it across the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's very bright, goes a long way underwater too, and it also has a 2500 lumen video light feature as well. Um, so, so what, would be the, what would be the use for this installation? Um, so spotting, black water, uh, probably the main two uses for dive photo guide people. Alright, and so finally we have our TG Pro housing. So it's meant for the TG6 and the TG7. It will work with the TG5 as well. Uh, some cool things about it, it has its it has own little electronic vacuum here, so once the housing is all sealed up, just press that, it sucks the vacuum by itself, and you're set. I've never seen one. But um, for people who don't want to do that, or they like the manual vacuum pump, we have an M16 bulk head in here now too. So you can attach any M16. You can even attach the monitor if you wanted to. Um, or you can attach like an accessory, accessory manual vacuum pump that will work in conjunction with the light back here. 
Um, it does come with the ball mount, which is separate. So, um, this is built into the housing? No, it comes separate. Uh, one cool feature inside is like the phone housing. Like, you can charge the camera while it's in the housing mount. Uh, those TG cameras don't have great battery life. You can keep it going while it's in there. Use it for the those are the main things, nice aluminum body, 52mm thread in the front, so if you take natively 52mm threaded lenses, um, or you can get a step up right now, obviously, and use 67s. Of course, being aluminum housing has a good fit for you. Yep. Uh, it does come with the little fiber optic window cover thing right here, uh, so you have your fiber optic triggering there as well. Like all of the uh, crackling stuff, it has this awesome box. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. It's quite popular that Yeah, it is. Um, and it's, there are window rails back here for accessory uh, viewfinders and things like that. Yep. Awesome. Thanks so much, Matt. And uh, we'll see you around the show.